the chemo afura kanu afura kite nut me dinde ojira fo kwesi ran mbata aka akwa mama na maruka tv mu ojira fo ojira man mu that means greetings to all afura kani afura kite people meaning africans black people my name is ojira fo kwesi ran mbata aka ojira fo via kwamu nation in north america with an ojira man the purified nation afura kani afura kite people in the western hemisphere so we have just posted some information some additional information we have our upcoming 13-week course, Obedi Ma Sem Afurakani Manhood, just after the beginning of the Atem Atemet, or Autumn Equinox. September 23rd is the first full day of the Atem Atemet, or Autumn Equinox, the Fall Equinox. That is the first day of the Akan New Year in North America. So we always have our 13-week session in that first quarter of our new year from September through December. We deal with Oberima Sem Afurakani Manhood, which is based upon our book, Oberima Afurakani Manhood. We first uh, published our book in 13,008, so-called 2008. Since that time, we've had over 200,000 downloads of our book. We've impacted, awakened, and restored, and realigned tens of thousands of Afurakani men, African black men and youth all over this country, and different parts of the world, we have a track record of restoring our people. So when you look at the information that we uh, posted on the flyer, we talk about the male divinity Ma'a in concert with the female divinity Ma'a. We say typically black men don't need healing, we need awakening. And the manner in which we awaken is to align with the male force of divine law and balance who is Ma'a in concert with the female force of divine law and balance, who is Ma'at. Women primarily align with the female force of divine law and balance, who is Ma'at. Males, when we're in harmony with divine order, primarily align with the male force of divine law and balance, who is Ma'a. And then we come together to bring those two halves of the divine whole of truth and balance operant within the community. Now, if you look at different uh, so-called healers and teachers and community activists and priests and priestesses and those who give out information and so forth in the community, when you see certain males who are so-called leaders and teachers and so forth, and they have a great deal of information, yet they manifest various forms of physical imbalance, emotional imbalance, mental imbalance, spiritual imbalance, cultural imbalance, sexual imbalance, promiscuity, and so forth, you wonder why, if they have so much information, why are they manifesting forms of imbalance and some rationalizing their um, imbalance to try to cover for that imbalance? The primary reason why is because the force of divine law and balance, the male force that actually regulates balance within the seasons on earth, within plant life, animal life, mineral life, and within, within us, that force in creation that actually regulates balance, the male force, they don't even know that force exists, let alone how to deliberately invoke and align yourself with that flow of energy that regulates balance in creation so that you can regulate balance and restore balance within your own physical body and spirit body, and therefore um, emotionally, mentally, and so forth. This reality undergirds our approach to Abedima Sem Afurakani manhood. Now, in our book, we deal with the solar, lunar, and planetary bodies that regulate and govern the seven-day week and the divine forces in nature, the Abosom, the Orisha, the Vodou, and so forth, that govern these seven days of the week. And every day of the week, there's a different energy complex and a force in nature you can align your thoughts, intentions, and action with to make sure that your behavior is reflective of divine order. We go into a great deal of information about that and so forth, but undergirding all of that is this reality that men, Afurakani men specifically, need to align with the force of divine law and balance the male force so that we can balance ourselves. Now, our course has the Af Obedima Afurakani Manhood book. It's a seven section module book. We also have the Pata Sasatem, another one of our publications, which is seven modules and educational curriculum. And then we have 14 of our other books. We published 31 books to date. All 31 books can be downloaded for free from our website, but 14 of those 31 books are germane to the Obedima Sim 
um, Afro-Akani manhood, peace, and so forth. So we include those. There are 14 sessions within the 13-week course. So we deal with those 14 books as well as the you know foundational pieces of Obedima Afro-Akani manhood and Pata Sasatun. When we go through this information, we implement it, we show how we can implement it, transform our lives, restore our lives, balance our lives, and so forth. So we can become productive Afurakani men, supporting and governing our Afurakani, Afurakani African Black nation. So go to the website, uh, the Obedima page on our website. You can register for the course there. We have a few spaces left open. Um, if you have any questions, just hit us up via the website or on Facebook or Instagram and so forth. And once again, Yedase, we thank you for supporting our work. And Yebesha Bio, we will meet again. That's all.